So in this video, we're gonna talk about the types of roll cages. Um, so Ryan, what are the types of roll cages that we can even have at our disposal here? As it relates to rally, we have DOM, scratch built cage, such as this. You can use a Dokal R8, which is motorsport specific tubing, or the uh, cage, like a homologated piece. Okay, and so when you're thinking of designing a cage or actually building a cage as a home-built person, like what, are, what is usually the most example home-built cage? Probably most common is DOM because of accessibility. It's readily available, it's strong, it's, you can get it almost anywhere. And is that in reference to the type of metal? What is DOM? DOM is actually an acronym for drawn over mandrel. So it's a steel, it started off as an electronic resistant welded tubing, but then mandrels are run on the outside and inside diameter, which makes the tube smoother, uh, which reduces stress risers and therefore stronger product. Hmm. So it's, you're talking about the actual, the way the metal is built. Correct. Okay. So what's R8 or what's the... Dokal R8 is a Swedish made tubing. Okay. And it's specifically for motorsport. It's, uh, it has a lot of attributes that we really find valuable. It's, it's very high strength to weight ratio. So it's strong. We can use a little bit thinner wall tubing, which makes a lighter weight cage and also makes it stronger than uh, a DOM example. And that's fairly readily available at many metal, like what's available if you go to your metal shop or trying to find, buy metal? DOM, okay. DOM. The, the Dokal comes through an exclusive uh, importer in Indianapolis, so it's not. Okay. So that's a lot harder to get. It's not as easy for everyone, yeah. Okay, and what, is it harder to work with if you're actually designing it or what's, what's the difference in? It's stronger, so we see a little bit more tool wear, but uh, the, notching bits wear out faster we need a more powerful bender but uh functionally it works pretty well the same it's it's still bendable it's still it welds with mig or tig okay. um so so we've talked about design of roll cages in the other video but this is just talking about execution of building a roll cage um what we also think about is these FIA kits, right? And so we'll have an example of that here later in the video, but is there any other thing to note about those kits? Are they different metals or what, what's happening in those kits? Most of the homologated kits are T45. That's uh, just, it's a high strength uh, alloy that's more readily available in Europe. Okay, interesting. So in this car specifically, you said was a DOM cage? Yes. So what is, what, what do you see or how, what tells you that or what, what do you notice? Aesthetically, now that it's painted, I wouldn't have known if I had asked the builder that this is DOM. Okay. That's a good point, right? So. Yes. When we're building, we usually try to record. There's a stamp on a, a Dokal R8 uh, tubing, so we will usually document, and that's our proof that this is uh, Dokal. Okay. So really, once it gets painted, you, you have to have all that documentation to know what the cage was. But um, as far as uh, the actual installing the cage is there anything to note with a DOM cage or if you're a home-built person like what are you actually looking for in this? I, I think the, the DOM suits a lot of uh, a lot of rallyists very well or any type of competitor in any motorsport it's readily available it's easy to work with it's perfectly strong it's not as light as an R8 but uh, it's it's still a very good product. Okay so there's interesting so a weight component what these are a little bit heavier tubes as far yes. as because the strength of the material is lo lesser than R8, we're allowed to use a thinner wall tubing with R8, which makes a lighter product. So what kind of material would you not use for building a roll cage? Or is there unapproved mat metals for rally? Is there Absolutely. any types of stuff that you're not allowed to use? Although I don't see it super common, I see um, some people request uh, 4130 or chrome Ollie, which used to be common in drag cars and, and some circle track stuff. Definitely not approvable for rally because it's a uh, high brittle, um, mm. it fractures too easily. Or uh, I've even seen a few cages built of ERW, which is electronic resistant welding, which which what a piece of DOM starts as, but it doesn't have that finishing process that really improves the strength tremendously. Um, aesthetically, they look very similar, but you need to make sure that you're using the right components. So maybe somebody who does build roll cages for a different kind of racing series uses that, which is approved for that series, but wouldn't be approved for rally. That's very correct. Okay, so we, we hear this sometimes, right? We hear people who want to build a cage or have experience building roll cages. Uh, rally is just so specific. We do recommend someone. Yeah, to I've seen many, many failures and tore out a few cages from uh, people who 
build roll cages, but not necessarily rally cages, and they get contracted to build a rally cage, and it doesn't end well. So yeah, let's take a look at some examples of an FIA cage, uh, the other R8 kind of cage. Um, so come with us on that. So talking about roll cage theory and design, we talk about an FIA designed roll cage. Um, so Ryan, what is this car? What's this design? And, and what's different about this roll cage? This is an M Sport homologated FIA cage. So this cage was engineered specifically for this chassis only. And the certification is, goes along with it, carries that authenticity and certification. One of the biggest pros of this design is it's the lightest possible design. It was specifically designed for this chassis. This chassis alone, everything is basically built to the standards that will comply. And it is without a doubt the lowest weight option. Okay. Some of the concessions are, it's not as ultimately strong as uh, different options. Your, some of the tubings are, tubing sizes are much smaller. It's inherently less strength, total strength. I guess it's up to you to decide if you need that strength or not. But so FIA tested this cage and without that certification, there's a whole document that goes with this. You cannot get a logbook without that because they, the FIA, determined that this was a safe enough cage for rally at this time. Correct, because the, 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 this tubing is not compliant or specifically the, the main hoop isn't compliant to our, our general Article 253 rule set, uh, but it's allowed because of the engineering and design and, and proof that this is still a worthy cage. Right. So you can't get that, if you were a home built guy, you couldn't get that certification by building this without all the FIA approvals. And Prohibitively difficult to do in the United <laughs> States. It is possible, but uh, it's, yeah, it was not really. So this is just a good example of what a roll cage could be uh, and a very one-off example for the Fiesta platform at this time with the M Sport program. So sure. we don't see as much of this in the US. Not quite as much, but these cage kits are available for a, a myriad of models. I mean, you can get them for BMWs or Subarus or any number of different chassis. It does come as a kit. Um, you have to specifically use every component supplied. The pieces are pre-bent, pre notch and you must assemble it exactly as designed. Any deviation in the homologation is no longer valid. Yeah, we built this, Tim O'Neill built this cage and it came in a box of tubes and we ended up having to send off a bunch of test welds to get that certification and you know, there's just a whole process to, to have it happen. But uh, it's, a, it's a learning curve and you just have to have someone experienced enough and know what they're doing and, and you know. Absolutely, that's one thing I've, I've seen a lot of people struggle is this is not a very good DIY project. A lot of people have the conception, oh, it's already bent, it's already notched. I'm just gonna be able to go to whatever welding supplier, get a MIG welder and get to work and I'm gonna build my own roll cage. We end up putting as many hours into this as we do a scratch built cage because it's so detailed, so intricate and really doesn't lend itself well to a, a DIY uh, at home user. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, let's look at some other cages. All right. So the last kind of roll cage we want to talk about is the R8, the Dokal R8 cage. And Ryan, you, we had you guys build this car for us or this cage for us. So maybe take us through any other points or thoughts that you have about the R8 cage. Dokal R8 is a specific motorsports tube. Uh, it's built for this purpose, engineered for this purpose. It's stronger than DOM uh, by mass. And so it's better. Uh, we're allowed to use smaller tubing and actually build a lighter and stronger roll cage than DOM. Interesting. And, you know, ultimately for us, you know, we think of a lot of things. And the other thing that we really haven't talked about yet is the actual types of welds and the way you weld these cages in. So we're going to do a whole separate video on that. So uh, please join us for that video and we're going to jump into that content. But if you guys have any other questions, concerns, thoughts about building a cage, or if you want to build your own cage, uh, we highly recommend that you reach out to Ryan. That is his business. That's what he's been doing for a big chunk of his life. And so Ryan, if they want to get a hold of you, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? Uh, email ryan at leonocars.com. Okay. And we'll put that in our uh, notes section of our video here. But uh, thank you guys for joining us for this video. Look forward for the other videos that we have about this subject and look forward to seeing you soon.